Hope everyone's doing good and having a good day. Just gonna make a uh, pickaroon here. Got my hole drilled out, so it'll leave a nice radius for this cut here. Okay, just started blending. I got it all cut out. Just gonna blend it nice around those lines. I'll be back. Okay, I got it all cut out. When this axe was made, I don't know if you can see that line in it, right above my thumb. This was a folded axe and then forge welded together. So it came together. So I'm just going to have to V that out and then I'll weld it up and it'll be strong. But yeah, get this all finished up. We'll hang it on a handle and we'll try it out. I wanted to use an axe so that there's a pole on it. More of a multi-purpose tool. I like the other ones. I know you can buy some with a pole on them, but some of them are just around. Yeah, should be a good little tool. Okay, I'm just gonna weld up this picaroon head that I made where the it was folded together and forge welded because I took so much material off of it. So I'm just gonna weld this seam up and then uh, clean it up some more. This is really good uh, steel. I don't know what the alloy is, but there's a lot of, a lot of carbon in it. But I'll uh, get this cleaned up and see what it looks like. I might have to put another pass on it. Okay, I had to build this up here. There's a big uh, dent from an old casting. And I had to do a little bit more here. Yeah, a little bit of cleanup and she'll be done. Okay, all cleaned up. Pole looks a lot better. Good tip for anybody if they want to know. 45 your edges so that they're smooth, nice contour. Top, bottom. It'll save your wedges. Okay, I got my center line and the outline of my. Uh, head here done. So go uh, get this ready and we'll put a handle on it. Almost forgot this is the line I'm going to bring that uh, pickaroon head down to. Okay this is about five minutes of work. Notice I'm not taking anything off this side. Always take off this side. So you can see 
where I have material I got to remove. I'll just keep doing it until we get it on there. Okay, we're getting closer. About half an inch to go. Then we'll be about half an inch proud. Okay, got her all done. I just gotta cut the kerf in it. Remember, you want everything horizontal. Head, handle, horizontal. Yeah, once I get the curve cut and driver on, it should be tight everywhere. I'll be back. Okay, got the curve cut in it. Remember, I'm no professional. Little bit more clean up right there, a little there, and some there, and it'll be perfect. Okay, got her cleaned up. Just gotta clean this up here with the knife a little bit and drive the wedge in. Jeff, it's good. Okay, I got my wedge all cleaned up. Double check, make sure everything's straight and true. Everything looks good. Nice and tight. Lots of glue. Okay, got this uh, wedge driven in there, and it is hammered in. 
That head ain't coming off. Yeah, all cleaned up. From where I welded, still good, never cracked. Yeah, we'll get this handle all smoothed out and uh, throw some dark stain on it. Just gonna go over it with 80 grit. Okay, we'll throw the brand on it. And this is in there deep, it's probably a quarter inch. Or an eighth of an inch, I mean, sorry. Okay, that's all cleaned up and sanded. I'll throw some, uh, can't remember what it is. It's a dark Danish oil. Black walnut. This is the stuff I really like because it's a dark color. Really brings out the grain on the wood in these handles, that's for sure. Sure you get lots on there, especially around the bottom of the eye of the ox head. Don't forget about the bottom of the handle either.
I'll take a couple of coats too. The more coats you put on, the darker it'll get. Definitely soaking it up nice. I'm just take a clean one. Wipe off the excess. Okay, she is all done. Well, uh, I'll do an another video here. I'll try it out. We'll smash this thing around. I think we'll call it the smash a room. Have a good day, everybody.